So after I completed my law degree, I started my career as a paralegal. Um, a colleague told me all about Silex um, because it was really flexible and I could study and continue working, which meant there was no need to go back to university. It was perfect for me. I enrolled in the graduate fast track route via distance learning. And um, from there, an amazing journey started. Um, I've progressed from being a paralegal to a manager and in my previous firm I was even head of legal. Uh, my grandfather was a private client legal executive, in fact he was one of the very first members of the then Institute of Legal Executives. My father was also a legal executive and he was a commercial conveyancer and in fact is still working and is now our senior partner, aged 86. So um, I was sort of guided into it rather than anything else, I don't think I really knew what I wanted to do. Um, but having been introduced to it and particularly through the work experience I found it really interesting and I enjoyed the aspect of helping people and um, I found it a very fulfilling career. I was born to very young parents so my parents were 15 when they had me um, so I had quite a difficult childhood um, but from a very young age I don't know where it came from I always wanted to be a lawyer. Um, nobody in my family was in law at all um, but I had a real interest in it from school. Um, some of my teachers told me that it was pointless to think about a career in law, didn't come from the right school, um, and all those sorts of um, beliefs that people have. And, um, but I worked really hard at school and eventually um, was going to go to university, but my mum became very unwell. And being the oldest child, I had quite a lot of caring responsibility, so I didn't go off to university. I stayed at home and then somebody told me about the Silex route and I realised actually I didn't have to leave my family to go away and study. Um, so I stayed at home and after trying to get work experience in law firms where I was turned down, I decided what I would do is I would go and get some uh, business qualifications and I would go and work in a law firm. Um, so I did some office junior work, legal secretary work and then I progressed my way up through the company while studying. It has been hard work and working full time and studying and having a baby, all of those things, it was really difficult. But in 2017 I did become a Chartered Legal Executive. My Silex journey has been exciting and rewarding and this is not just from my work that I've done but also I think being a member of my branch has played a really big role. Over the last eight years we've now helped four legal execs set up on their own and form their companies and we're still working with them through our network and we'll continue to support them. All the uh, self-employed individuals that we've worked with, we've set up our own little private network. It's called the Trusted Associate Network and what we do is we only deal in certain areas of law and we're able to refer clients, but it's all held together by the Silex Code of Conduct. So everyone we work with, you know that that client will be looked after and we offer each other help and encouragement. And if they have any problems, it's somebody that they can refer to. I have a lot of contacts with young people. Um, I do lots of different things through inspiring the future and mentoring schemes and all those sorts of things. And I find that the biggest thing with young people is their lack of confidence. Um, and again, for me, I did have people that believed in me, but I didn't have anybody um, who was in the legal field. So I didn't really know much about it. I didn't have anybody I could talk to about that. So I think for me, it's really important that I share those experiences with other people that may not have um, lawyers or people in that area to go and talk to about those things. And I give them opportunity to come into the office and see what I do and, and see if it's for them.